CNN.com International, you have unparalleled access to breaking news stories and in-depth special reports. Be the first to know. Welcome back. As stories about oil supplies and rising prices continue to make headlines, alternative energy sources like wind and solar power are also getting more attention. Some countries, especially in Europe, have set ambitious targets for renewable energy. Here in the UK, for example, the government wants to generate 10% of its energy from renewable sources within five years and 20% by 2020. But getting people fired up about this issue is a challenge, especially the younger generation. One man in southern England, though, has come up with a novel way of supercharging the effort. Go-kart racing can be hazardous, so these young drivers are suited up to lessen the danger. But what about the danger from car racing to the environment? As these gasoline-powered carts continue to attack the circuit, Gordon Fote is parked up in the pit, planning for the day when kart racing, indeed all car racing, takes the environment as seriously as it takes winning. To show young people the environment matters. We need a really high-profile way of putting the message across, and I believe motorsport is the way to get that message across concerning sustainable energy and reducing carbon dioxide levels. 31-year-old Fote runs Green Motorsport, a company in Southeast England dedicated to showing one of the least environmentally friendly sports how to clean up its act. But before he gets his cart on the track, Fote has to get his two micro wind turbines up and running. I wouldn't think of a wind turbine at a kart track or a racetrack. Why is this important for you? Well, it's important for us to generate electricity so we can power our portable tools. This one gives 100 watts, but over a period of time, we can generate quite a, quite a amount of energy. Right, watch your foot, yeah? And that's stored in our industrial batteries. Fode expects his new turbines to one day generate power in the pit. For now, he uses the solar panels on the top of his trailer for power. Gordon Fode has asked up-and-coming British racer Becky Beth Cox to take his green cart for a spin. It's the first time Cox has ridden in a cart not run on fossil fuels. Fode's cart uses only a battery. Cox says the battery-powered cart runs as fast as a gas-powered machine and actually starts faster. Can the technology here in this cart also go into car racing? Indeed, could it go into, say, Formula One one day? Absolutely. The technology on this cart is, is transferable to the automotive industry and potentially into Formula One. And as drivers like Cox dream of jumping from carts to cars to even Formula One, so does Fote. He wants to show the world's top drivers how to cut emissions around every corner. Cox had her turn at the wheel. Now it's my turn. I'm ready? Yep. Let's do it. My first time. Very tight squeeze in here. Let's see. Let's see how I go. Oh. the battery on this cart is recharged using electricity. But Gordon Fote says with just a little bit of funding, the entire thing could be done using fuel cells, which would mean running the cart with zero emissions. This electric extension cord plugged into the wall reveals that truth. We can power the fuel cell using renewable energies to generate hydrogen and then convert it into electricity to charge the electric car. It's that simple. It is that simple. 
Foats' team points out that fuel cells can make the grade. A nearby swimming complex is run entirely by a fuel cell, which admits only steam. But Green Motorsport says a fuel cell plugged into the back of a racing car will have much more impact than one stuck in the back of a building. We see a lot of environmental projects around that have really failed to engage people, um, especially the young, and I think something like motorsport has immense appeal and it has sex appeal for young people. And Fote wants to prove that next year. He's planning for an environmentally aware kart race. We're going to have 12 cars on the grid powered from renewable sources using micro wind turbines, using fuel cells, a whole accumulation of technologies using BP solar panels and basically micro generation technologies. An ambitious goal to show other motorsports there is another way. Jim Bolton, CNN, Easter, England. Living Golf Minute in time with Rolex.